Okay, next step. You guys have a signed contract. That's great, and we're moving forward to the home inspections. So what is a home inspection? Uh, home inspection is a service that you pay for as the buyer to have the home that you're going to buy inspected by a professional. Uh, these professionals are trained, licensed, insured, and they're kind of jack of all trades. They know about plumbing, heating, you know, all that good stuff, and they're there to inform you about the home that you're going to buy. Um, you know, prices vary from guy to guy. I've got some great people that I work with that educate and don't scare buyers because it can be very scary and a little overwhelming uh, about, you know, purchasing this home and, and finding some issues. But you definitely want to check around for some prices. Uh, on average, about 300 and up. That's what I've seen in my area for uh, the home inspectors. So after you get a home inspector hired, after you get that contract signed, you want to do that in the next, you know, first couple days, you know, to get that out there. So if you call on a Monday, usually they're available by a Wednesday. Uh, they move pretty quick. So it takes about two and a half, three hours, somewhere around there, uh, depending on the size of the home. And at that time, it's really best in, in your best interest to be there and be pretty much stuck to the home inspector's hip, asking them questions. If he finds something, okay, what does this mean? How detrimental is this to the home? Is this something I should be concerned about or is this on the honey-do list for later on? after I move in and have some time to, you know, work on this stuff. So feel free to ask any questions at all, you know, that, that are running through your head during this time because this is what you're paying this person for. You want to find the answers to these questions that you have. So after you get through that, um, you know, you, you really want to go into it with the mindset that there is no perfect home, okay? I, you really are paying these these home inspectors for all the bad news about the house, which is not a bad thing to look at. You really want to know the history of that house. You want to know, okay, is this a active leak in the roof, or has this been a, a leak that looks like it's it's been fixed and patched and is no longer an issue? Um, so after the the home inspector is done with the you know with his his part of the job, he sends a report out to both you and I, and we go through that report together as far as what he found what you're going to ask for, and, and that kind of stuff. And it's really a case-by-case -case scenario. But you want to look at, you know, the important things. This heating issue is going to be major to me, or this roof issue is going to be major, but you know what, the leaky faucet sink, or kitchen sink, isn't in, that important to me. I can handle that on my own. So we'll determine the, you know, priorities of those, and then go through and, and submit the report on what you want to ask for. At that point, we submit that to the sellers, and then you, you know, we'll negotiate back and forth between what the sellers will and won't do. Um, sometimes they'll say, well, I'll do A, B, and C, but I'm not doing D and E. So, you know, you, you can at that point say, well, you know, these are really important to me, so I really want everything done, or we're, we're going to terminate the, the contract at this point. And that's what happens if, if, you, you, if the buyers and the sellers do not see eye to eye then, you, you know, you've got a legal right to terminate. You're not being forced to buy a house that has problems that you weren't aware of when you uh, submitted the initial offer. So, and that brings me to home warranties as well. If there's something that is of concern, but it's still working, but, you know, say, for example, you've got a, you know, a $15,000, you know, heating system, and it's working, but it's old, you know, you can't ask for something to be replaced just because it's old, you know, even though it's functioning. But you can work with the home warranties that, that we offer to have the sellers purchase those and say, okay, if this breaks in the next year, the sellers are, you know, have the home warranty purchased for you. And, you know, that will help with the expenses of this, you know, this unit. So you're not stuck with a $15,000 unexpected cost. So that's kind of the home inspection, you know, section. There's obviously much more in deep, you know, entailed with it. Um, as we're there going through it, you know, it's it's more of a case-by-case -case scenario. So, you know, you'll have a lot more questions at that point. So check out the next video coming up. Uh, click the link below, and you will see how we keep moving forward to purchasing your new home. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.